Hello, my name is Muhammad Izzat Tufaka bin Hajrit. My metric number is 2022-677-606. Hi, my name is Haris Abiy bin Zofi. My metric number is 2022-499-212. Hi, my name is Richard Brand and my metric number is 2022-816-576. My name is Muhammad Azim bin Yusof. My matrix number is 2022-837-612. Hi, my name is Awangku Muhammad Razin bin Awangku Ahmadin. And my matrix number is 2022-493-172. So what is public accountability? Accepting accountability for one action and decision is a definition of accountability. Accountability entails responsiveness. Accountability is a key element in deciding successful governance in politics, particularly in the representative democratic system. The concept of accountability is being a crucial component of representative democracy. And also, the objective of accountability it is to establish an efficient control to guarantee that the administration of public funds compiles with all applicable rules and regulation. The other mechanism to promote public accountability in Malaysia is Auditor General. The role of the Auditor General is to support accountability by carrying out impartial audits. In Malaysia, the Auditor General is responsible for carrying out impartial audits of the finances of the federal government, federal statutory bodies, and state governments. The actions of the organizations under the supervision of the state and federal governments are also under the audit of the Auditor General. Each year, the Auditor General publishes a report outlining how each ministry manages its finances. Since 23 February 2019, Nick Azman Nick Abdul Majid has served as Malaysia's Auditor General. In Malaysia, the position of Auditor General was established in 1906 and its first occupant was William James Park Hume. One of the most crucial positions is Auditor General since it has the potential to strengthen the accountability of public management. The third mechanism public accountability in Malaysia. The PAC, or better known as the Public Account Committees. The Public Account Committees is one of the independent and significant committees of the parliament in operation to oversee the administration of public fund and accountable government. The PAC role is to assist the parliament in a holding government account for its use of public funds and resources through examination of public accounts. In Malaysia, the PAC is one of the selected committees of the parliament which is responsible in enhancing the accountability in the financial operation of government. The public account committees is appointed at the beginning of every parliament for the examination of the accounts of the Federation and the appropriation of the sums granted by Parliament to meet the public expenditure, such account of public authorities and other bodies administering public funds as may be laid before the House of Representatives. Secondly, report of the Auditor General laid before the House of Representatives in accordance with Article 107 of the Federal Constitution. Such are the matters as the committee meeting fit or which may be referred to the committee by the House of Representatives. Finally, the PSC comes out with recommendation for improvement of the respective government agency. Thank you. The second mechanism is ministerial responsibility. Ministerial responsibility is the responsibility to a parliament of the cabinet collectively and of individual ministers for their own and the conduct of their department. The minister must defend his decisions without sheltering behavior service event. If it cannot, political pressure may force its resignations. Next, 
The doctrine of ministerial responsibility is important because it, the back, it is the backbone of the cabinet system as practiced in the parliamentary systems. It has been noted that the Westminster style's constitution used by the government ties legislative members' cooperation in order to ensure that the current administration, which is made up of representatives chosen by the people, is accountable for all ministry and departmental activities. The underlying principle is entire governmental act, not the individual minister, is responsible. The minister is accountable for two things. First, there is a shared responsibility that calls for each minister to accept full accountability for every decision made by the other ministries. The second is the specific accountability to whom each minister has assigned his or her ministry on the roster. Every minister is accountable for every decision made by the public employees who work under him. The concept of ministerial responsibility is important to constitution and plays a major role in the relationship between the administration and legislature. For example, minister inform, explain and apologize, take remedial action or resign in support of the concept of ministerial responsibility. Historically, parliament is the country's main political organ which holds the government accountable, government officials, lawmakers and other public servants, which holds accountable by parliament to the general public and to legislative bodies like Congress or Parliament. The best way to obtain accountability in Malaysia is by holding a particular question and associations. The MPs are responsible in debating each other on how to attain the best result for a better country. So here, the responsible MP need to give and provide us with the best solutions, which is honest and factful to the particular questions. The goal of Questions Hour is to give the MPs a platform to air the public complaints and to call the attention to the shortcomings of the government and its administrations or the significant issues. Members of the legislature are allowed to debate and discuss any current issue in the best interest of public and nations. However, it is forbidden to discuss the topic like nationality, Bumi Putra rights, the Malay language, the monarchy, and others.